This video is sponsored by Bitdefender. What's going on guys, it's your average consumer. And as you can see here, we've got all the parts to build our very own PC. This is gonna be my first attempt at doing this somewhat alone. I got my buddy Austin Evans on video over here and I got somebody on standby just in case. But uh, I'm gonna be attempting this whole thing by myself. Let's get started. And I know a lot of you guys wanted me to record my experience and kind of let you know how it went. And of course I did that, but honestly, a lot of it was me watching my buddy Austin's videos, as well as me reading a ton of manuals. And it was a pretty standard process, but there were a few bumps in the road. Okay, so I got the CPU. I got the, I guess the hard drive. This is the motherboard. All right guys, so unfortunately, Looks like I bent the pins on my motherboard, so that kind of sucks. I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to replace this guy. Ah, uh, well, that's it for today. So there's been a hiccup with this, and we're back at Micro Center trying to, yeah, remedy this. Okay, guys, so we've got some new developments. Last night, I had to run over to Micro Center to see if I could pick up a new motherboard because I thought all the pins were bent. Turns out it was actually an issue with the processor. So as you can see here, I've got two i9 processors in front of me. Well, technically I only have one. Uh, what was actually inside of the box of this guy was some Intel Xeon processor with a quad, quad core processor. It was an older processor that had no business inside of this box, but thankfully, Micro Center had a processor for me to get. It's all good. Got some good stuff right here. I don't know how that makes up happen, but I know I'm getting my money back. And after that, guys, there was way more manual reading. I just wanted to take everything slow and make sure I did everything by the book. Okay, guys, so after hours of trying to make these uh, Corsair cables work with this uh, EVGA PSU, turns out I should just use the cables that came with the PSU in the first place. So hours of trying to do some little cable management, just gone to waste. So now all these white cables gotta go bye-bye. Good times. And I think my overall experience building the whole thing really wasn't that bad. So getting over that hump of building it got to the exciting part, which was actually turning it on. Now let's turn it all the way on. Let's see how it goes. We got power. First impressions. There's a lot of color going on here, but all of these are going to be able to be changed when I get it all set up and the software installed. So I'm gonna be able to control the lighting, which is gonna be awesome. Okay, this is even crazier. <laughs> these are massive GPUs and they're hiding the beautiful motherboard. So we gotta get some, we gotta get a 2.0 going already, I feel it. But now I think it's time we check out what I put together. Now in terms of a part list, I decided to go with the Corsair Crystal M570X case, an ASUS Rampage 6 Extreme motherboard. And let me tell you guys, that thing is beautiful. I also went with an Intel Core i9 processor with 16 cores, 128 gigs of G-Skill Trident Z RGB RAM, and two ASUS Strix version of the GTX 1080 Ti's in SLI. And yes, I know SLI is not that popular anymore, but I couldn't help but do it. But I'm not gonna lie, I am a little bit upset by how big they are. They take up way more room on the motherboard and they pretty much hide the motherboard's beauty, which is a bit upsetting. And that's why we're getting a 2.0 version sometime soon with water cooling. And of course I had to get some RGB strips because I love me some RGB lights even though it probably complicated my build a bit more than I would have liked for my first time by myself, but overall it wasn't so bad. And I even went for a liquid cooler for my CPU with the Kraken X72 by NZXT. And I even changed out the fans for some fans by Corsair with RGB lights so I can control the colors of the entire system. And of course there are other parts that make up the build and I'll have a complete list and links to everything down below in the description. Now you can call me a noob if you want, but I've been super real with you guys about my entire experience. And I'm not gonna sit here and act like everything came out super peachy because there are some issues that I am currently working through, like figuring out why all my RAM isn't being detected by the system 
and even why I'm getting super slow boot times, uh, much slower than I am used to with any of my other machines. But even though I've got those current issues to work through, this thing is still no slouch. I'm still able to game with pretty much max settings and even use some more work-based software like Adobe Premiere or After Effects since one of the guys on our team uses that. And of course now I've got my fancy new machine that can handle all of these things, I gotta make sure it's protected. And so of course I had to download Bitdefender Total Security 2018. And this security suite has a ton of features to protect your Android, iOS, Mac or PC from hackers. And like I mentioned in my last video about keeping your devices safe, I love having this on here because it protects me from ransomware so I don't have to worry about my files being taken by hackers. And I can also get that webcam protection so that again, hackers can't access it and I stay protected. And if you're the type that tends to connect to a ton of public Wi-Fi networks like coffee shops or airports, this is gonna be great because it can also scan the connection to make sure that you're safe. And with their safe pay feature, you can jump into their built-in browser so you can shop online as much as you want without worrying about risking your financial information. And Bitdefender is actually a great tool for parents. If you want to monitor your kids' activities, even if you aren't home, you can check it right from your smartphone, which is a really cool plus. And what's great is that it does all of this in the background, so you can go ahead and browse and do your thing uninterrupted. And if you're a new user, you definitely want to check the links down below in the description because right now Bitdefender is giving away six free months to new users, which is great because they are an award-winning software company for its protection and performance. And again, huge shout out to Bitdefender for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you guys check out the link down below so you can get your free six months, so you can get protection from ransomware, safely use public Wi-Fi networks, and a lot more. But like I said guys, this PC does still have its issues that I need to sort out and I'm already thinking about upgrades and changing some parts because there are a few things that I'm not too crazy about. And honestly, this makes me pretty happy that I built this rig by myself. Uh, this can be my personal pet project. Uh, I see this as an evolution. Uh, this thing is going to continue to grow as I make different tweaks and changes and all kinds of stuff. So I'm pretty excited that I took it into my own hands. So personally for me, I'm gonna continue to call it by its code name, which is Leak where Ari took shots at me for this not being as good as my other PCs. But either way, once it does get as good as those, I'm going to start calling it by Typhoon and we'll see when that happens. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, you guys got to sit there with me and see my struggles and you know just how this PC experience went. If you enjoyed it, be the cool guy or girl that gives this video a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then, it's your average consumer. Peace.